What's up guys, Dennis Films here with another tutorial. And today's tutorial is on how to expose S-Log2 properly. Now, a big thing with exposing S-Log2 properly, especially if you're shooting 24 frames per second, for say performance or just anything uh, that you wanna shoot the cinematic frame rate, you're gonna need an ND filter. Now this one is Tiffin, it's a 72 millimeter. It's specifically uh, meant for the 18 to 35 or any lens that has a 72 millimeter uh, filter, uh, filter rate, whatever, you know what I mean. Anyways, it's important to get a good ND filter because bad ND filters, meaning cheap ND filters, will throw you different hues, which anytime you're putting glass in front of your lens, it's gonna bring down the quality just because you know it's glass shooting through glass. You wanna make sure that that doesn't happen because you wanna keep retain the most quality you possibly can and also not get purple or green hues in your footage, which takes time to correct. Sometimes you can't correct. Now a cheaper version of an ND filter that I recommend is Fotoga, F-O-T-G-A, which I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. Now to see what ND filter your lens takes, look at the front of your lens and let me show you. There will be a circle with a line going through that circle and then a two digit number. That is your ND filter size that you will need for that specific lens. So keep that in mind. Now an important thing with exposing S-Log2 is looking at your metering mode. But once you get good at it, you can kind of just see it and eye it by you know just looking at the footage. You'll be able to see what works once you get used to exposing S-Log2. Now on the bottom of the metering mode, you're gonna see you know it changed. Sometimes it'll be you know negative 0.3 or 1.7 or 2.0. You want it to say 2.0 plus 2.0, two stops exposed, overexposed. That is important. Now at night, an important thing is you don't always have to get uh, overexposed by two at night. You can get away with 1.5, 1.7, and if you can, go for two. But an important thing to note is you will have to crush the blacks to get rid of that noise in post, which is a very simple thing. And that's about it. I mean, that's pretty much how I can explain it in the best way possible and if this tutorial wasn't helpful to you just comment below email me whatever you need to do it's all in the description i will help you as much as i can i know it's a pain to learn it but once you learn it it is easy you'll have no problem and your footage will look super professional guys have a great day keep creating keep practicing another big thing is experiment lately i've been trying to go out every day whether it's doing a photo shoot or video just to get footage and just practice, get better, learn angles, you know, get better at exposing. Uh, there's just so much you can get better at, so just keep practicing, hang in there. Y'all are gonna do great, and y'all have a great day. See you guys.